Let's talk about something called chest compression fraction. Chest compression fraction, or CCF, is the percentage of time during a code that chest compressions are being performed. And what is the most important part of CPR? Chest compressions. Remember, compressions equal perfusion. These are what circulates the blood and keeps our organs perfused. So we want the CCF to be high. How do we calculate the CCF? You take the total time of compressions and divide it by the total time of the code. Then you multiply it by 100 and this tells you the percentage. For example, let's say you did compressions for seven minutes and the total time of the code was 10 minutes. You would divide seven by 10 and multiply that number by 100 to give you a percentage. This gives you 70%. The American Heart Association has a target CCF of at least 60% for adequate perfusion, while 80% is the gold standard. We want to minimize interruption to compressions as much as possible, but of course some interruptions interruptions like shocks, breaths, pulse and rhythm checks can't be avoided. Here are some tips to minimize interruptions of chest compressions. Hover the hands so they are ready for compressions during breaths or rhythm checks. Keep the bag valve mask on the face during compressions. Don't wait too long to restart compressions. If you're having trouble giving breaths within the 10 seconds, go back to compressions and try again the next time around. You also wanna make sure you switch compressors at a natural break in compressions, things like during breaths or rhythm checks. And finally, you can do compressions while the defibrillator charges. Don't wait until they alert you to clear for shock administration. Let's do our best to minimize interruptions in compressions. You got this.